okay, so the uh, items I'm using here are, um, I'm going to make this one in yellow. And my glue of choice is Beacon 3-in-1. And you probably will need a wet glue for uh, this project. And that's what we're going to make. And I'm just grabbing um, some different scissor sizes. And how I did the mouth and the eyes on this I use like hole punches and the uh, crocodile so first you got to determine how big you want your tiki mask now this one is about an inch and a half wide by four inches tall so I just pretty much eyeballed it you know how big I would want it because they usually do stand kind of tall like you can put one on each side of the page or what have you so okay. so we have our piece here and this is pretty much all we're going to need throughout this whole project and we're just going to cut down to size um, I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter here and we're just going to cut off a bunch of um, tiny bits here. Now I need to cut them down pretty tiny for this one. So this one may even have to be smaller on a smaller scale. So let's see if we can do this. Let's see how thin that is. That's pretty thin. I'm going to cut it a little bit thicker. That's a little bit better. And we're just going to cut a bunch of strips like this. Maybe we can get two out of this. There, we'll just stop there. And, uh, yeah, I think this one is way too thin. So, we'll be using that one. And then, I, I start off with, like, the eyes and the mouth. So, now, you could probably use an X-Acto knife on it. Um, let's try it. There's a lot of eyeballing. Or you could try drawing it on there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it's just a fun embellishment to make. And of course, if you're doing it this way, be very, very careful. <laughs> and then some eyes. I think I like using the hole punch better, but um, I'm not very adept at using these X-Acto knives. In fact, I'm not very good with knives at all, <laughs> and I shouldn't be touching them. <laughs> okay. It's going to get it scratched out a little bit more. I just wanted to show you what you can do in case you don't have a hole punch or you know, you can even probably try to get the scissors in there. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And we might want to, you can either round the corners or not round them. I'm just going to round them a little bit. Just like I did on that one. And maybe we can try rounding the top a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how that looks. So, and then it's just a matter of gluing down your pieces where you want them. So kind of get an idea where you want them. And the beauty of this stuff to, is too, is that it's pretty much already the same width. Because that's where you uh, cut it. I want a really thin piece. Here 
here. So, but yeah, these are so fun to make. You know, they're just so simple, and I really didn't know what I was gonna do with this um, really thin corrugated cardboard. But you know, we all pick up stuff not knowing what the future holds, <laughs> but we buy it anyways. Well, this is one thing I'm glad I had it because as soon as I thought of the project it was like oh my gosh I have some of that I have exactly what I need <laughs> I hope I'm staying in frame it's so hard to do these videos to find the right light you know the uh, right angle and you're not getting a bunch of hair and you're staying in frame <laughs> it's gonna trim it on the ends I think I put that too close it's a little too close I didn't really leave room for a nose so I'm just going to cut some little squares here and it's pretty much like every tooth I guess so I'm doing that with the I want some triangles too so Maybe I'll put this uh, glue over spillage, put that up top like that, and I'm going to put these squares on as if they're diamonds. Oh, I hope I'm close enough, you guys, and that you can see what I'm doing. Just putting them on like a diamond and I got glue sticking everywhere but yeah it's just using a bunch of like squares and triangles anything with a straight line and Come together so simple use very little and I think the little ones working out pretty good too like the big one the baby one triangles on here they're just a little bit tiny but you can also use uh, tweezers if you want I bought a really nice pair of tweezers and they grip things really good and you think I can find them actually I'm missing a few things in this craft room <laughs> still don't know where they are and I will have to do a craft room tour soon oh my gosh my so much has changed in my craft room. I even got to watch the old video just to see the uh, change. <laughs> yep, I'm loving how this is turning out. <laughs> I just put them on like that, like one right side up, up, one upside down. Yeah, it's so cute. Um, and 
I forgot to leave room for a nose. Let me park here. Should have parked a little bit there. And we're almost done. See how fast it comes together? It's only been 10 minutes. And it could probably be even faster. I've been just trying to stay in frame so I'm not uh, up close and personal like I like to be with my artwork. <laughs> As we all know. But look at how cute that is. And then, you know, you could ink all around the edges maybe. Let's try that. We could leave a softer shadow. Um, and I'm just using the walnut stain distressing to see how this looks. Oh, going on here. The orange one, I want to do it on the yellow one. It looks good on the orange one. It'd probably be difficult to uh, do um, the little pieces. But yeah, I really like how it turned out. And so I'll have to make all the colors. And yeah, that's what I'll be doing with my corrugated cardboard. So thanks for so much, everybody, for watching. I hope this was a helpful video for you. Um, I hope I stayed in frame, and I hope you all have a good day. Bye for now.